Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylan here for another video on Marvel Strike Force. Today, we got some uh, really smashing news here at the store reset today. And so we have confirmation now what the requirements are going to be for the next Horseman event, Famine. So Famine is confirmed to be Scourge number two, uh, which is going to be not this patch, but next patch. And so this arrives later in the version 6.2 release with the identity of the Famine Horseman. So we'll probably get a blog post sometime. I, you know, it's not going to be this Friday. It's probably going to be in a couple of weeks. Uh, but we know who it is now. And we know uh, that it's also going to be a three-star unlock. And we know what the required traits are going to be for nodes 5 and 10. Now, uh, they've gone and said that this is for difficulty 5+. plus. I th thought this was required for Web Warriors and stuff in difficulty 4 of... Uh, a pestilence was I wrong about that am I wrong about that uh, but there's three teams here now and I called it more or less you know I, I was saying this for a very long time a force young Avengers and inhumans now I didn't call in humans but I totally called young Avengers I've been saying that for a long time and you know what I'm, I'm really sorry I'm really sorry guys that it's Young Avengers because I know that there's a lot of you out there who don't like this. I, I've been talking in my Discord about this almost every other day and I know there's a lot of people out here who don't like the idea of Young Avengers being uh, a Scourge team. Otherwise, you know, we kind of thought because A-Force was a four-man team that this was probably likely. There were people out there who thought the Young Avengers weren't going to be the case because Miles was part of the team and so that makes... and we're going to take a look at that, uh, the total number of characters now. Uh, that Young Avengers uh, has six, but this actually, it, uh, the, the biggest complaints for the Pestilence event was that there was only nine characters. So now there's a lot more actually, so it depends on how many characters you want to build and who the best ones are. Now, that being said, you know, if you somehow have all of them, you know, like great job, you know, even though A-Force isn't complete yet, um, in humans on that part, we're going to talk about that. So let's dive in one step at a time. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're actually gonna start with Inhumans. Okay, because we're gonna go backwards. Uh, we know that there was a hit point buff, base stat buff for some of these characters. Um, actually, I believe it was a Quake, Crystal, and Yo-Yo. Okay, and Miss Marvel is an Inhuman, but she is Young Avenger, so it doesn't really matter anyways. So really, what we're talking about here is Black Bolt, Quake, Crystal, Karnak, and, and Yo-Yo, and. I have to say, what's really interesting about this, what I think I probably will end up doing, will be doing some sort of combination of A-Force and Inhumans. Uh, everyone knows that my Young Avengers are built up, they're pretty self-sufficient, so I don't think I'm really going to touch that. You know, we'll, we'll take a look at my uh, Young Avengers roster. What I am looking at is obviously what I have built up so far. So Black Bolt. Um, this is definitely something that I'm considering. Whether or not I'm going to go much further than what I already have, Matt, I don't know. But he's maxed out in 153k. So I want to find a way to use him somehow. And I think realistically, the characters that you're going to want to use on alongside him... Karnak is not really good. And Quake, despite the hit point buff, his, her kit never really got adjusted. So it's kind of... It's quite old. Uh, but other characters... Definitely Yo-Yo is back on the table now. And I'm wondering if I want to take her to gear tier 14. Uh, but this is a severe bio crunch. Because all of the Inhuman characters, except for Karnak are bio right and even a lot of the young avengers are also bio for that matter so yo-yo has that offense down right if you don't have a protector character now um i th don't think any of them are because miss marvel is a brawler she's not a protector nobody in young avengers actually is a protector and i don't think anyone is an a force so that means that you can actually use yo-yo anywhere with anyone on this set of team and apply the offense down. And I think that's going to be incredibly important for the longevity of any of the teams, but getting through these nodes. So I'm now thinking about taking Yo-Yo to gear tier 14. Uh, lucky for me, you know, I did use her in the past, but not, you know, I'm level 72. I actually don't have any T4. So as far as uh, which T4? I don't know if I need any T4s necessarily. I think the basic, right? Because it always gains an assist from a random and human ally. Now, if you're just using in, um, if you're just using Yo-Yo and Black Bolt on a team, that's going to guarantee an assist from Black Bolt, which is super important for its basic, which clears 
um, positive status effects, right? Two positive status effects and, and flip if, you, if the primary target has slow. The only other option that I would probably consider at this stage would be crystal. Um, I, I don't know if it's worth it or not though. And the only reason why I'm even talking about this is because crystal has this thing, right? If this character's health is full at the start of a match, the first time the character or a human ally drops below 50% health, heal them for 20% and clear two negative effects. Now, if you get the T4, this is 40% healing and clear three negative effects. That's quite substantial, and so I can see this being very useful on one of the nodes, whether it's node 5 or node 10, right, as a potential burner team. But to keep the team going, 40% uh, of her max health to heal, uh, it's, her, it's her health, right? Yeah. Of this character's max health to heal like say uh black bolt or yo-yo and so on and she can reduce speed bar as well on her turn so she actually has a pretty good kit a lot of it is related to slow her basic does slow uh and then her ultimate takes advantage of slow by stunning she also stun summon enemies uh but they do more more damage against slowed enemies um the jury's out for me, and the reason why is because she's bio, right? So I would rather put the investment uh, personally into Yo-Yo, but if you're someone who has already built up some of this, some of these characters in the Inhuman roster, then that's going to be absolutely amazing for you. Uh, the only other problem, like I said, some of the newer characters, they're bio, so I don't know how many of the Inhumans that you can really afford to do. And so at the very least, I want... Uh, to consider at least Black Bolt and Yo-Yo at this stage. Uh, so we're going to go to A-Force next because that's less characters. Now, Jessica Jones, Captain Marvel, and Spider-Woman, all three of them being bio, right? And so this is kind of an issue. Nico Minari's Mystic. You might, <laughs> if, you, if you're done with Darkhold, you you might be able to do this, right? I don't know what her release is going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be if it's going to suck in terms of uh, total shard values. You know, are you going to get a three star or four star Nico? I don't know. Uh, is she a Blitz character? I don't know. Um, but Spider Woman is also bio. Uh, we have her a Force of Nature event ongoing right now. You're going to be able to get at least a four star Spider Woman, or sorry. Uh, three to four star spider woman out of the event depending on how high you know how many milestones you clear out of this whole month of may uh, jessica jones and captain marvel both characters that are available now so what i think i'm going to be doing personally like i said earlier on was that i'm going to use my full young avengers team and then i'm going to create some sort of duplicate team my second team i don't think i'm going to do three full teams i just i don't have the resources to really manage that i mean i have them all unlocked and maybe they'll be a burner a third burner team i don't know uh, but i think that maybe i might consider uh, i don't know a, 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 like three of these with maybe, maybe jessica jones captain marvel and spider woman with black bolt and yo-yo something like that right like i i don't know i guess it depends on what the release methods are going to be for nico how hard i go on any of these characters i really don't want to gear up a force to be honest uh they're a war offense team and they're not particularly aimed at killing any one team that i'm aware of and they're just very rng based and that kind of bothers me i don't like the unpredictable nature or i don't like gambling and so Nico has RNG mechanics. Spider Woman has like a minus 25% accuracy thing in war offense, and that's not consistent because it's not like a hundred percent. So <laughs> and she doesn't do blind. So I just really don't like that aspect of it. But otherwise, you know, maybe for those of you with high red stars on these characters, you might want to consider that. Now, moving on to Young Avengers, because obviously there's six of them. So, you know, if you use Miles, which a lot of people did do for Pestilence in the Scourge event. For uh, that, uh, you're going to have them pre-built. So this gives you six characters. gives me six characters, you know, because all of mine are built up. Yeah, look at that. Great. Great. So, you know, I'm in a really, really good position. You know, like like my, my one team is one and a part a team is done. Now, so I need to think about, and, and actually, now that I think about it again, you know, I'm going to try and use Miles, but I'll probably have to end up using him, say, in my second team. So that's going to be like Miles, Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, and maybe spider woman and jessica jones like i i don't know um captain marvel is primarily damaged so despite it being kind of high i'm just not sure right because a lot of these are bio characters even in young avengers squirrel girl's bio miles is bio miss marvel's bio uh chavez is mystic and kate bishop is tech and echo is skill so overall over <laughs> this is a, a severe bio crunch uh, for this event, we have a lot of characters, like almost all of the Inhumans. Squirrel Girl, Miss Marvel, uh, which isn't humans anyways, Miles, 
a forest you know three out of four of a force is bio so this is like almost like 10 characters i think that are uh bio but overall there's like what gonna be quite a few uh, four ten just here and then the other useful and humans maybe like 12 or 13 characters really there's a lot of characters to choose from so i think this will be very interesting and i wonder if this is going to be easier or if it's going to be harder so now that we have more characters available does that inevitably mean that this event is going to be easier or does it mean that they're going to throw more shit at us uh, on the node or whatever or more enemies and that this is actually going to be quite challenging now young avengers is obviously the one that i'm personally going to recommend the most because they're the characters with the most um survivability the most longevity squirrel girl is absolutely amazing i'm going to be taking her to gear tier 16 and you know what I, I'm more than happy to do that now, uh, knowing that they're going to be used in the next Scourge event. I was going to do this anyways, but now this has really solidified my choice. So I'm super happy, and I couldn't be more pleased. So this Scourge event sounds like it was built for me. I'm really, really sorry for all of you guys, because I know barely anyone geared Young Avengers. I know that, without a doubt, more people built the Web Warriors than they did this team. And that's obvious, right? Because Web Warriors was a raid team and Young Avengers are a war defense team. So, you know, that's a no-brainer there. Um, some of the problems, I think, is going to be for Echo. Because I've talked to a lot of people who barely unlocked Echo or didn't even unlock Echo. And this is going to be a big problem. But, unfortunately, she's just so important to the entire Young Avengers team. So you kind of need to have her. You know, her special gives uh, plus two evade to self and all Young Avenger allies. That's huge, really. And that's available on turn one. Her passive, really important. The defense up for two turns on self to all Young Avenger allies. That's huge. You know, you really need this. Uh, not to mention her retaliation, which is very similar to uh, Ghost Spider's retaliation. And then, of course, she's blocking... She's giving more damage to the team, and this is outside of war. And then she gains more damage personally if they're skill enemies. You know, so this this is all really, really important to make sure. And then she reduces the assist chance of enemies. So if there's anyone, I don't know who's on the node, right? We don't know. Um, but if there's any, like, uh, other Young Avengers, Infinity Watch, uh, characters who are reliant on assist chance, then she's going to be able to block that. So Echo is such an important character. And really, you can't have this team without Echo, Kate Bishop, squirrel girl at a bare minimum you might be able to dodge america chavez she still does give health uh to the young avenger allies 25 percent max health uh and, and she hits really effing hard i used her a lot in pestilence her shooting star mechanic uh special does hits really hard it's huge damage it always creates with kate bishop so you could lose her uh but i think that's about it you have to have miss marvel because she's kind of the de facto tank you really need that and that's super important so you know, if you're going to drop anyone, it's going to, I personally think it's going to be America Chavez. If there's those of you who are trying to squeeze Miles into the actual Young Avengers team, that's probably what you're going to do. Otherwise, this is a bio crunch, and but you know now, right? We're at May the 4th. P.S. May the 4th be with you if there's any if there's any Star Wars fans out there. Uh, but, you know, you, you do have a lot of time. Uh, my guess is you have about a month and a half to figure out what you're going to do. So we have Young Avengers. We have A-Force, and now we have the Inhumans. I would be cautious, though, about over-investing in the Inhuman characters at this stage. Um, I, I don't think you're going to get as much value out of that, because I would prioritize newer characters over older characters. If you're going to use anyone from the Inhuman squad, like I said earlier on, I would probably stick to Black Bolt and Yo-Yo personally, and try to squeeze them in somewhere. So that's the end of this uh, Scourge update video. That's interesting. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, what's your plans? What do you think your plans are going to be? And how do you feel about the Young Avengers? Did you kind of know deep down, and now you're just disappointed? I'm sorry that, you know, I'm not for obvious reasons, but I know that many others will be. So that's the end of the video, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.